There's a lot about Bridgewater you won't find at other hedge funds. Ray Dalio designed it to be an idea meritocracy and says the key is a process he calls believability-weighted decision-making. I should explain believability-weighted decision-making to you if, you, sure. if you're interested. Uh, I think I have an idea about what it means, but go ahead. Um, okay, so ordinarily, you know, there are two ways of making decisions, pretty much. Uh, there's the boss has control. and so Autocratic. Autocratic, right. I'll call that autocratic. Takes in everything and then he makes a decision. Or there's democratic, pretty much, one man, one vote. Um, but really, the best decision making is believability weighted decision making. And if you think about it first conceptually, you would say, um, if you're going to make a decision of what you, you have a medical condition, and you're going, to, how are you going to get that? You're going to think, who are the best doctors? Consult the experts, right? Consult the experts, but this one knows more and that one knows more less and how do you do it and then you have this triangulation and then you make that that's kind of the idea of believability decision making we have ways of assigning believability that we all agree are fair that we each assess each other and we get certain amount of believability points so now imagine that you had believability your believability on a subject matter maybe it's investing maybe it's accounting whatever the subject is that you have a certain amount of believability weighted points and you're together. Well, those believability weighted points, uh, when you say, okay, what should I make as a decision? Now I'm responsible for something, but I ask everybody else, I, and I take a believability weighted vote. I can have a believability weighted vote. When I have that believability weighted vote, I really do believe that it's going to be a better decision than I would individually make. That's believability weighted decision making. And it's fantastic. Um, be, when you have independent thinkers, in, in order to be successful in the markets or as an entrepreneur, one has to be um, an independent thinker that makes decisions better than the consensus decisions. It's fair. In the markets, the consensus is built into the price. It's beta. Yeah. So now, um, you have to bet against the consensus to make money. Therefore, you have to be an independent thinker. The best dynamic is to have a bunch of independent thinkers. Now you've got a bunch of independent thinkers. How are they going to have thoughtful <laughs> disagreement and get past those disagreements? How we have done that is the key to our success, and it's outlined in the book.